All right, folks, Pachinga Ace 88, we are back. Playing in plain sight, case 42, last one. Where we're going to try and figure out who the mole is. <sighs> Ace, Ingrid's booked us on this flight to Nigeria in such a rush. We don't even know why we're go going there. But that's not the only surprise we've had while investigating Lavinia Debris' murder and the mole. He arrested Jack Archer after discovering that the fatal shot was fired from his gun, which he claims to have lost. And Miss Martinez inexplicably lost her ID card in the cell. Mr. Clayton deliberately disabled the CCTV, destroying possible evidence of the murder. Oh, this must be angry. Miss Bourne? Hey, she'll be landing in Abuja shortly. Here's what you have to do. Go to the Zuma Hotel. There's a room in Lavinia's name. She often stayed there while in Africa. I verified her bookings. Understood, Miss Bourne. You want us to search Lavinia's room for proof of contact with the Sombra Mole. Go straight to the hotel, Ace. Don't talk to anyone. Report back ASAP. Oh, we're going back to her hotel room. Oh, she looks different there. But again, your seeing profile is not straight on. Lion here. Champagne bucket. Danger. 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 Ring. This has got to be something. And perfume. Hey, Slovenia's stuff is everywhere. If she uses this room as a meeting place, chances are the mole's been here too. That gold ring is just the kind of lead we need. A skin sample should tell us who lost it. And we'll search that purse too. On our way back to Mazunda, Ingrid's expecting us at headquarters, so let's grab these clues and go. Well, if it's a ring, it has to be either Lars or Angela's. And so it looks like a woman, so, so Angela's a suspect too. Ace, that first you brought from back from Nigeria was full of Lavinia's personal items. Like this note top that says, you have to take the secret to your grave. The message speaks for itself, Ace. We know the secret Lavinia took to her grave was the mole's identity. Time to compare the handwriting to a sample from every bureau agent faced with this evidence. The mole might confess straight away. Hmm. We're still really um, early on, so that can't be like the end all be all. Ace, you got some skin cells from the gold ring you found at Lavinia's Nigerian hotel. Lars' analysis will take longer than our flight did, so let's get him started. So Lars is helping us out, so he can't be a suspect, right? I don't know, it's like the people that are helping us aren't suspects. And then, then again, though, Angela was the one who... Uh, she helped us out, so... Ace, the handwriting on the note to Lavinia match Jack Archer's. Archer's been acting strangely since the beginning. This note explains a lot. Ace, we need to cross-examine Archer again. This could make or break her case. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, 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 not Jack. Uh, let's just hope that everything's pointing to him. Ace, have mercy and give me a painkiller. I have the mother of all hangovers. That whiskey was a bad idea. Well, threatening Lavinia wasn't very smart either. What was the secret you didn't want her to spill? Oh no, you found out. Ask me anything but that, Ace. I really can't tell you. I can't tell you why I can't tell you either. There'd be nothing left of my dignity. Well, that ship has sailed, Archer. You're accused of murder and of betraying the Bureau. Answer Ace's questions or do you sleep with her? All right, here's the sordid truth. So help me God. Yep, I slept with Lavinia Debris. Once, back in Kenya, I was drunk, pining after a saw, and she had her way with me. I woke up mortified the next day. I didn't even tell Lars. I've been living in that fear that Lavinia had talked. I know it was stupid to write that note, but 
Stupid doesn't even begin to cover it. At best, you derail Ace's investigations, and at worst, this is a smoke screen to hide something bigger. Ace, any chance you could leave this out of your report? Since I didn't kill Lavinia, I don't see how it matters. Enough. You're familiar with the right to remain silent. Now would be a good time to use it. Oh, snap. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna grab some stars. We'll be right back. This has been Pitching Ace 88. Au revoir. Alright, folks, Pitching Ace 88, we are back. Let's finish this off. Ace, I'm confused. Why did you send me my wife's DNA? The skin sample is your wife's? Then the gold ring Ace found in the Nigerian hotel must be hers, too. Wait, what? Are you sure it's not a mistake, Ace? The only ring Angela wears is her wedding ring. How did it get to Nigeria? Well, we're hoping you would know, Mr. Douglas. Didn't you notice your wife's wedding ring was missing? Well, between work, my rock band, the triplets, my bro dates with Jack, it's easy to miss a small detail like this. Well, did Angela mention a trip to Nigeria? Surely you'd remember that. What's this about, Ace? Are you suggesting my wife is up to something behind my back? Come on, you can't seriously think she's run off with some hot guy to a hotel and... Oh, we're not suspecting Angela of having an affair. The hotel where she lost her ring was booked by Lavinia Debris, which suggests that Angela and Lavinia might have dis something to discuss in Nigeria, something confidential. I don't understand, what the... Don't worry, Mr. Douglas, you're not in trouble. It's your wife we need to talk to. Well, that sounds... That sounds ominous. Hey, Dr. Douglas, could you clarify something for us? It's about your wedding ring. My wedding ring? Oh, the thing is, I must have misled it somewhere. I haven't even told Lars. I'm sure it'd turn up. Oh, and it did, among Lavinia's belongings in the Nigerian hotel room. What? I'm sorry, Ace, but this doesn't make any sense. So are you going to deny going to Nigeria or meeting Lavinia in secret? Deny? Am I a criminal now? For accidentally losing my wedding ring? Ace, let me explain something to Michelle. I'm a coroner. I take off my jewelry when I work. The disinfectants I use damage precious metals. It's obvious my ring went missing from the morgue, and I can't even tell you who nicked it. I didn't make a fuss out of respect for Carmen, but we all know Sanjay's got sticky fingers. No need to get upset, Dr. Douglas. If you're telling the truth, Ace will prove it. Until then, please stay around. Where else would I be? Goodness, this is giving me a headache. I need a pair of Cinema and a nap. Well, Ace, your trip to Nigeria revealed fresh evidence against Archer and incriminated Angela, too. At this rate, our jail cells will fill up quickly. Don't hang around. Go back to the break room and finish what you started. Oh, brother. Oh. Man, it could totally be Archer, but it could totally be Angela now, too. Except, I, when I did the mole reveal thing, I thought she would be like the least because she's married. She's got triplets. Uh, anyways, I don't think that's... I mean, it's incriminating, but we'll see. Uh-huh. Ace, that device must be Elliot's. Think you can break his password? That safari has definitely Lavinia's, but it's covered in colorful candy. Vacuuming up a sample will tell us why. And someone left their bank statement here. Finances are personal, but not in a murder investigation. Let's have a closer look. Almost looks like a PSP. Shabby. Ace, you've unlocked Elliot's device and it's full of climate charts and front analysis. I'm sure you remember that Sombra coded their messages as weather reports. We've seen it all over Africa. This doesn't forecast bright skies for Mr. Clayton. Expect a stormy conversation, Ace. Am 
mind is just blown right now. Like with the other one, you kind of knew, kind of knew that Frank was gonna be a main kind of guy in it. This one though, I haven't seen any clues really. Ace, any of the colorful candy you vacuumed up from Lavinia's hat look familiar? It's W and W's from the cafeteria's vending machine. But Lavinia didn't have access to these candies, and if it wasn't her, was it the killer? Luckily, we still can't. We can still trust Lars. If the mole nibbled on these tweets, he'll prove it. WWs. <laughs> That's funny. Bank of Mazunda. It's a decent amount of money. Hey, this bank statement might be a dead end. The account holder's called Elizabeth Smith, but we don't know any Elizabeth Smith. Definitely not at the Bureau. You're right, Elizabeth Smith has a lot of money in an offshore account. And when there's a murder, money's often involved. Okay, I get it, Ace. You want to follow this lead in case there's a connection? Ingrid take down Lavinia's hotel in Nigeria. She'll be able to trace this statement. What's up, Elliot? I knew you'd be back. Admit it. You're getting nowhere without my help. But I don't hold grudges, Ace. Since you suspended me, my sole entertainment's been cleaning old keyboards with disinfectant. Tell me the boredom's over. Elliot, Ace has found your device. You've been sending messages coded as weather data, and we know what that means. Wait, what are you implying? I've been trying to crack Sombra's cipher to interfere with their communication, which is what I should be doing right now. I just needed a paracetamol and some coffee to kickstart my brain. Not so fast. First you disabled the Bureau's surveillance system. Now you admit to messaging Sombra from your phone. Oh my gosh, you're still accusing me of being the mole? I was only doing my job. Wake up, Ace. If someone with my skills were helping Sombra, there'd be nothing left of the Bureau by now. Or an agreement. That's why you'll be locked up incommunicado for the rest of the investigation. That's true. I mean, if you really wanted to screw us over, he could do it so easily. Anyways, guys, I gotta wait six hours. I will see you guys back here. This has been Pitching Games 88. Au revoir. All right, folks, Pitching Games 88, we are back. Let's finish this stuff off. Hey, Lars, we suspect that these sweets contaminated Lavinia's hat via the killer. Can you prove our hypothesis? I tested your sample for molecular cross contamination. It's usually hit and miss because the same chemical, chemical compound can be rocket fuel or a cheese sandwich. But this time, I knew what to look for. I tested a sample for acetaminophen, which you've already linked to the killer, and bingo. So these sweets were the killers. That's exactly what we were hoping for. Ace, I know you're excited because you're a step closer to the mole, but I suddenly feel a pang of sadness. W and W's are popular in the office. Both Jack and my wifey love them. I never thought I'd see the day when it becomes an evidence. The mole ate these W and W's, Lars. Ace is right. We must bring them to justice. Oh man, it's as I feared. Tutor Jack. Sounds like it's either Jack or Angela. I hope it's not Jack. I really like Jack. Hey, Ingrid, any luck with that bank statement Ace found in the break room? I didn't find anything in our case files about Elizabeth Smith. So I called the bank, and it took some sweet talking and yelling, but the manager finally told me that Elizabeth Smith is an alias. Ace, the account holder's real name is Elizabeth Ripley. Elizabeth Ripley? You mean Chief Ripley? The bureau chief opening an offshore account under a fake name is unorthodox, to say the least. Oops. Ripley's methods have always been unorthodox, but the bank manager cross-checked everything. There's no doubt it's her. Ace, this is above my pay grade, but if you accept an observation, isn't it strange how little we know about Ripley? I agree. It's not the first time she's tricked us. Remember when we all thought she was dead? She kept the truth from everybody, even from me. Yeah, you think Ingrid has a point, Ace? Alright, let's probe into Chief Ripley's secrets. Ah, so it could be Chief Ripley. You know what, I don't think it's the Chief just because we've had the Chief in Grimsboro. I'm kind of be rehashing it. Hey Chief Ripley, the Bureau really needs to trust its leader now, so we hope you can explain this offshore account under a fake name. Oh, Smith? That was my mother's maiden name. It's perfectly legal to use it under Mazunda in law. 
I understand why you need to ask, Ace. I opened that account when I faked my death in Europe. As you recall, that move was crucial in dismantling Sombra's Middle Eastern cell. Yes, Ace told me about it. You misled the Bureau for months after allegedly surviving a poison dart attack, only because you knew exactly what antidote to, antidote to take and when. Leaving aside how you pulled that off without Sombra's help, it doesn't explain why you've kept your double identity ever since. Taking precautions is an old habit of mine, like carrying painkillers and disinfectant in my handbag. You just never know. Precautions? You were planning to do a runner, in case Ace discovered you've been a double agent all along. I commend you for following every lead, Ace, and you, Michelle, are as good a partner as I hoped. But it's not what you think. The Bureau is my life. I've always been loyal to it. And you understand you'll have to step down until this investigation is closed, Miss Ripley. Ace, did you really arrest Chief Ripley? Monjour, what will become of the Bureau? Well, these are uncertain times, Monsieur Dupont, but Ace will find them all. The Bureau will survive. I hope you're right, Ace. I'm too old for a new life. Ace, the mole is still large and the Bureau is falling apart. Chief Ripley's joined the suspect list after you discovered your secret identity. Elliot admitted sending coded messages to Sombra, and Angela couldn't explain if she lost her wedding ring in Nigeria. Luckily, Lars can still process our lab samples. Ingrid's also been invaluable, but... Oh, I should get this. Who is it? Ace, it's me. I'm calling to say it's over. Carmen, where are you? What's happening? Ace, I hope one day you'll forgive me for what I've done. Please look after Sanjay. You'll never see me again. What? No, Carmen. Oh, snap. What a cliffhanger. All right, I'll see you guys in chapter three. Um, but you guys get eat? Over and out.